Welcome back to Barnsley Music. My name is Barney. I'm a classical composer and founder and director of Barnsley Music. In this series, we're looking at my opera ballet, Salambo. And in the video précédent, as we say in French, I showed, talked about Salambo sleeping, about Maso going up to her room. Maso, of course, was deeply in love with her, but he's from the opposition. Right, and that's the moment where he's just like in awe, you know, in her room, which is deeply forbidden. This is like 300 BC. So no man but to be in her room. <laughs> okay, listen to the servants. And he's just like stunned at her beauty. Now, in the actual um, book, which let me show you what happened to my book. So you don't even know this is Salambo because I've done so much damage to it. I need a new one. But there's actually like a moth that's like buzzing in the room. And then I think it bumps into a flame or a lamp and that causes like a stir and then Salambo wakes up. But what I will probably do for the operatic stage, because it's kind of hard to show stuff like a moth buzzing, how you, you know, like we can't be too literal. So what I'll probably do is just have Maso bangs his foot into something, you know. I think that'll be more obvious. And I'll probably have like percussion, some kind of loud. It's going to be kind of brutal, if it's in French. I need like a sudden. Like a piano is just too soft for my purposes. Of course, it'll be for orchestra. And what are les paroles, as we say in French? Well, I took this directly from the text. Salambo, who is sleeping in bed all innocently, she wakes up, right? And what would you say when you wake up <laughs> suddenly? And you, she sees someone in the room or she feels someone. She at least sees his eyes, right? Well, she says, qu'est-ce que donc? Qu'est-ce que donc? Now, you don't need to know what French is to know what that would mean. I mean, it's going to be obvious. So she's sleeping. Qu'est-ce que donc? Okay, and I'm going to try to sing a little bit. It's just to give you an idea. Please do not form an opinion of this opera based on my voice because I'm not a professional singer. And this is also for the female voice here. Kiss kadonk, kiss kadonk, kiss kadonk. Right, so kiss kadonk, kiss kadonk, kiss kadonk, kiss kadonk. Okay. I really feel nervous to even play that last part on a piano in front of a public because the beauty and the power in it cannot be perceived on a piano because repetition on the same note on the piano is very hard to appreciate. But for a voice, it can be very beautiful because, of course, the words are changing. And that's a Martha singing. Okay. I have to double check the words. Sing of war. It's, Mazo is a tenor, which is a, an upper male voice, okay? It's usually when you have two lovers, you're going to have the upper male voice and the upper female voice. It just sounds great, match in heaven. I don't have that voice, but I'll try to kind of simulate it. So, Okay. Okay. Let me play it with Mazo. And what do you think he's saying? Well, I think it'll be obvious, hopefully visually, but remember he has stolen the sacred cloak of Tani, which is Salambo's favorite goddess. She prays to her every night. And so he thinks, okay, now I can finally be with her because I have this, you know, amazing thing, which he stole from the temple and which is going to start a war. So it's here, like, here is a sick cloak of Tani. Okay, so he presents the cloak to Salambo. So even if you don't know French, right, you're going you're gonna to see. He's presenting the cloak. Hopefully it shows a very beautiful 
beautiful cloak. And then Salambo sings here. And here again, you really got to work with me here because the piano, it just doesn't sound good on the piano, right? This is a human voice. You know, the syllables, each syllable is different. Okay? So she says, So she's repeating his réplique, as we say in French. And do you hear this change in intensity? I always want to play a little bit before so you can feel what I'm talking about. Feel the desire growing. Right? This is before they. This is before at least Salambo knows she has feelings for him. And keep in mind, he's from the opposition, so it is deeply wrong for them to even be in the same room. Okay, let alone be attracted to each other. Do you let, let me play this? Now, some of you who have, you know, stronger ears, you may have noticed that I have two voices. This is playing, and this is playing. And what's happening? Well, Salambo and Maso are reuniting. They're singing the same thing. Sin of war. This music is so exciting, and it's just the very beginning. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Again, this is my opera ballet, Salambo. If you are employed or have connections in the opera right, industry and you are generally interested in this music, I have left my contact information in the description. Have a good day.